Okay, so we're back and we are ready to sanitize this data that we haven't done so yet. Uh, so I'm going to need to open up my general uh, function file uh, within, um, or create, sorry, a general functions file within here. So I'm just going to create a new, uh, in fact, no, I'm not. I'm going to create a new file within my text editor. And I'm going to save this in here and I'm just going to call it general.php. So this is going to house any general functions. So we need to create a function to sanitize. Uh, so I'm going to call this sanitize. And I'm going to pass in data. So we're passing in data and we're returning it sanitized. Now the reason I've created a function for this is because we might want to add additional uh, ways of sanitizing data later on. Uh, if we use you know, all the methods of sanitization within one page, we might have to duplicate them to another. So what I'm going to do is return MySQL real escape string data, and it's as simple as that. So if I pass through any data here, I'm using the MySQL real escape string to sanitize it and then return that data back. So if I close that, what I can now do is within here, uh, within users.php, uh, I can go ahead and I can say username. In fact, I don't need to do it there. I can do it in line if I want. I uh, will do it down here. So username is equal to sanitize username. Now that's all, all well and good, but we haven't actually included this general uh, functions file. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open init.php and I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste this just here. And obviously change general. So now we have access to the sanitize function. Within our login script, we are checking if the user exists. That's calling this function here, passing in the username, sanitizing it by calling the sanitize function in the general.php file, and then we're running our query. But obviously that's not it. We need to return true or false to see if this value here is either equal to zero or one. Now, if this is equal to zero, it means that the user doesn't exist. Uh, and therefore, uh, there's no point even trying to check their password against their username. If the user does exist, however, we can continue and would return true from this. So I'm going to say return. Now, this is slightly trickier because I'm doing a, an inline in if statement or a ternary operator. So anything within this, these two brackets will be the if statement. Anything after the question mark will be returned um, if this is true. And anything after the colon will be returned if this is false. And I've got a semicolon on the end of the line. So in here, if I said 1 is equal to 1, so return, if 1 is equal to 1, return true. Otherwise, return false. So in this case, it would return true. So in here, what we actually want is we're checking the result of this query against 1 or 0, or, or just 1 for example. So I'm going to say MySQL result and in here I'm going to pass through the query, the row and that's it. And then I say is this equal to 1? So is the result of this query, i.e. the count where the username is equal to username, uh, equal to 1? Then return true, otherwise return false. And that's it. We could combine this, we could place this query here um, into, oops, into here. Uh, the reason I didn't do that at first is because it makes it look very, very complicated. Um, we could do that. Um, I think that, that makes sense, but keep it the other way around if, if you struggle to read this all in one line. Um, we could also use sanitize uh, within here as well. Anyway, uh, this user exists function, we need to check now that this actually works. So um, let's go ahead and just use this on, um, uh, let's do it just up here. I'm just going to say user exists. And in here I'm going to pass through Alex. And we know this user does exist. Um, well, I'm going to say if user exists, Alex echo exists. And remember if this is equal to true. Now this isn't part of our login code, I'm just doing this up here to demonstrate. Uh, but let's go ahead and refresh, um, or, or rather we'll just click here. Uh, we get this uh, result back exists on the login.php page. So if user exists alex equals true, this function has obviously returned, let's go back here, has obviously returned true because the query uh, found a user with username alex. Now if I type for example billy, and I go ahead and refresh, we don't see, oops, 
we don't see anything because the user doesn't exist. So we know that the function works now. I just used up here as a sort of a testing space. Um, so we now know that this will return uh, the error we can't find that username if the username doesn't exist. Okay, so uh, what do we want to do next? Well, we want to go on and, and start to you know check some other things as well. Uh, one of these is whether the user is active. So if the user does exist, uh, we're going to say else if user active, oops, active username is equal to false. So if the user is not active, we again append another element onto this array. So we're going to say, um, well, I don't know what we could say, you haven't activated your account. Remember, escape that character. Activated your account. Okay, so you could then go on and maybe give instructions of how to um, how to activate the account. Something brief. Okay, so else we're going to do some stuff here. Okay, um, uh, basically what we're going to be doing in there is we're going to be testing the the login process. So we're going to be logging. Uh, passing the username and password and checking if the password matches etc but for now I'm just going to in fact let's do nothing uh, and then at least we know that we don't have any errors now down here I'm going to use print r and I'm going to print r errors and what print r does is it gives us a visual representation of this array and because we're adding these elements on um, to this array then um, we'll be able to see them essentially if we do come across any errors so uh, let's go ahead and, and, and create this user active function so I'm just gonna essentially go ahead and just copy this function here uh, because we're more or less returning the same data or checking for the same data so I'm just gonna change this to user active again we're sanitizing the data which is important but this time what we're doing is we are selecting um, uh, well, we're selecting the same thing. We're selecting the count from users where username equals username. But we're also checking whether the active state is equal to 1. So and active equals 1. And we don't need single quotes around this because it's an integer. So we've used more or less the same uh, functionality as user exists. But we're saying return the count of any of all the rows where the username is equal username, which will only be 1. Um, if that's equal to username and active is equal to one so if, if the username Alex exists that's good but if the uh, active state is equal to zero this will t return false otherwise it will return true so um, again let's go uh, let's go ahead and and, uh, and test that in fact we can test it now because we've we've printed all the errors um, let's go ahead and go back to the index I'm going to click login and you can see that we've now got this visual representation of the array and the first key so the key zero is you need to enter a username and password because we haven't entered a username and password so I'm going to enter Alex but not a password and we get the same error and again I'm going to enter a password but uh, but no username and we get the same so Alex and password and we should get nothing now uh, oh, you haven't activated your account, of course. Um, if I enter a username that doesn't exist with any gob gobbledygook password, we couldn't find that username have you registered. So we're seeing all the errors that we would expect to see. Um, and if I, again, chose Alex, you haven't activated your account. So uh, I can go ahead and now change this. I'm going to go click Edit. I'm going to choose 1. And I'm going to come back and uh, I'm going to type password login and nothing's happened there's no elements in this array ie there's no errors that have occurred um, you know within these checks so here what we're we gonna do well we need to actually log the user in we need to pass a, uh, a username and a password to a specific function that's gonna return true or false depending on whether the login was a success um, and then obviously we're gonna deal with outputting any errors if uh, if they do occur uh, so we'll do that in the next part of the video.